All right, what's up, guys? Knight's Fire here, bringing you Losers Finals action. Got Ragnite versus Snacks, Losers Finals, starting game one on Dreamland. This is a very interesting set. I want to see how this turns out because uh, Snacks typically has the edge, but Ragnite has taken sets before, so definitely doable by both sides. Really want to see the gameplay involved because I think Snacks is one that would definitely be really good to adapt to uh, Ragnite's kind of habits that he has, but of course. The thing about Ragnarok's gameplay is that it's very strong as long as, you know, you sort of treat the mix-ups as mix-ups, so. But immediately, yeah, we're seeing a pretty solid sequence here from Snacks. Gets up to 113 on Ragnarok, so really one, one strong back there and there will do it. And yeah, see... Uh, Snacks is using a decent amount of like uh, top platform stuff. Not sure if that's just because of the high percent. He's only really looking for stray hits, but regardless, we'll get to see that developed a little bit more as the set goes on. Interesting roll into the corner there. And all right, Ragnar doesn't quite get an edge guard, but does get a read out of the corner out of the corner situation and picks up the stock. So we're even here. Alright, see what Snacks can get going. Early side B kind of messes him up a little bit, but it does get 55%. Alright, and Ragnite, you know, running into the corner has worked out for him both times. That's how he's gotten both of these stocks. Damn. Down smash? No tech. I'm surprised. Snacks is definitely the type to pretty much always get those kinds of, uh, get those kinds of techs, but... So our, uh, automatically, we're already seeing a oh amazing read on the angle to ledge. So <laughs> right as I was about to say that Ragnar had a strong lead, we're back to even. Good CC on the up tilt. Postures for the roll in cover from Snacks, but doesn't quite get it. All right, and yeah, Snacks really just going in at this point, trying to mix up the the before where he was staying a little, st sort of staying in the corner a little bit. Goes for the up throw instead of the back throw. Still gets him off stage. Doesn't quite cover the uh, the ledge option. Goes straight instead of the ledge this time. And yeah, but these stray hits from Fox will be very nice. And all right, slight lead from Snacks here. We're at the percent where Falco has some kill confirms, but that double shine will do it. Solid game one from Snacks. And it looks like we are going straight to Battlefield. That makes sense. Uh, I believe this is typically considered Falco's best stage in the matchup. The top platform, being able to full hop the top platform is really useful in in terms of escaping scramble situations and in general the, the level of comfort that most Falcos feel on this stage is very nice. But yeah, all right, so immediately uh, Snacks covering the uh, the buffer roll in option that Ragnite likes to do a lot in neutral. So we see a solid first stock. Oh, but slightly misses the re grab and gets upsulted for it. Not quite seeing too many extended combos from Ragnite yet, but he's been doing a pretty good job at sort of a, at, at covering uh, edge guard options and, and corner situations where he seems to be getting most of his mileage this set. And miss sledge dash from Snacks. It's unfortunate, but you know, if you're a Fox player, you know it happens. So, not too worried about that. But gets reversed off of the ledge situation. Okay, makes it back though. Only taking 20%, not that bad from Snacks. Covers the spot dodge. Tries to do a pivot up smash. Uh, slightly late on the timing though. Another situation where the side B actually trades instead of uh, getting hit and uh, slightly misses the angle. Alright, so yeah, Ragnite taking a slight lead here. Gets off of the ledge and gets a, gets a small hit, but still in pressure. And it looks like that's going to do it. Yeah, that's straight. 
That's where Fox really shines in this matchup is the uh, the sort of straight hits at higher percents will just kill Falco, it seems like, most of the time, or at least set up a situation that's very favorable. Alright, and oh, wow. Snack's having center control, but Ragnite calls the approach and just uh, gets a kill off of it, so. Back throw? Back throw F tilt? Can't quite have the same kill power off the gems, but can definitely get a lot of percent. Yeah, more up tilt. Interesting sort of shine situation. Uh, do you just do it? <laughs> he does it, but he misses. So, alright, this is a little scary, but that back here looks like it's gonna do it. Not the greatest DI. Alright, so we're 1 1 here. And we're going straight to Yoshi's story. Uh, I think this is fine. I I, again, I think scramble situations typically favor Fox in this matchup, but uh, I, Ragnite has also been doing a pretty good job of, of, of like the up tilts and sort of calling out uh, Snacks' approach options, which I think will really benefit him on this stage, whereas I think something more like Pokemon or, or FD would have presented a bit more... Uh, nuance in that in that situation, but we'll see what can happen. All right, Snacks gets up the edge guard. They're even three stocks apiece. It is also important to note that Snacks did SD twice on a battlefield. All right, yeah. There's another missed approach option from Snacks getting punished by Ragnite. Another roll in. And. Gets attack this time. Covers the roll in. But this time, looks like he read the spot dodge. Or, actually, no, I don't think he read the spot dodge. I think he just got, just got mixed up by it. And, okay, goes for the dare. I think really any move would have killed at that point, even a fair. But. All right, let's see what Zax can do in this situation. Gets him off stage, if he grabs the ledge, yeah, that should be it. And we're right back to even. This has been a very close set. And miss sec on the platform. Yeah, miss it, misses the edge guard. Randall making it a little complicated, but... Yeah, so... so... Yeah, and that little bit of a scramble, uh, Snacks tried to go in and uh, Ragnite hit him with a, with a shine. Good kill. Yeah, another situation that could attack. And ooh, amazing coverage of the side B with the Nair. We'll actually do it. And Ragnite up 2 1 now. So, ideally, I'd like to see. Uh, Snack kind of slow down the pace a little bit because I think his I think really the main problem has been him trying to uh, go in too much. But we do see him go back to Yoshi's story, so stage may not necessarily amplify that that idea. But already solidly getting 91% and doing a lot of movement mix-ups, but kind of does falls for the uh, double lasers from Wedge. But looks like he'll eventually clean up the first stock. And all right. Interesting little scramble right there gets him. Gets him killed. So we're pretty much even again. Yeah, another situation where I feel like Snacks is just kind of going in instead of necessarily playing a little bit more of the mix-up. But, oh my, oh, incredible SDI on the uh, up air, but that would have been an amazing sequence. Snack still finishes it, though. And a uh, really good coverage of the roll. And it looks like, okay, uses the down smash instead of just grabbing the ledge, but it still works out. Again, very even set. I feel like... The main advantage has been that Ragnite has been doing a pretty good job of um, being ready for Snacks' approach options and 
and it looks, Sax has been trying to read a lot of the, the stuff sort of resulting from it, but it's either just mistimed it or hasn't been ready. But even still, been getting a lot of good conversions, and as we see, he's up two stocks to one. Although, of course, at 100%, pretty much any move on Yoshi's will send him off stage or into a, a ledge situation. And yeah, right there. Right, an interesting choice to go for the down air into platform tech chase as opposed to the up air at the end of that stock, but it worked out for him. All right, let's see if we can get started. Misses a JC up smash. All right, goes for that platform tech chase situation again. Just doesn't pick it up though. We're off stage. Oh, this is really anyone's game. Okay. Oh, doesn't cover the side B. Up smash. Not gonna kill. Oh man. Oh man. Back air. Oh, misses a wave dash out of shield. Gets covered by the roll in. Oh, that'll do it. Wow, so good stuff to Ragnite. 3-1. That means he's going on the grind finals.